anytime soon. This is from Gan in Sing School, and we try the very first one over here. Okay, can you try this? You send me by message. Here we have this message coming in. Let us see it. Two messages that means from both. Okay, from the same person. Okay, Ryan, well done, Bo. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mr. Ryan. Well done. Come on, Inshira, Inshira. She got, she got, uh, so now you try the next one, Ryan. Okay, have one second. Sorry? Yeah, 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 please, please. Let's, uh, okay, let's see. Inshira, first one, correct? And what about the second one? Inshra, Inshra, you made a slight error. Okay, let me uh, allow Shafi to You must remember, Miss Inshra, that Ryan, your answer is not correct for number two. Uh, okay, we're going to come to that. Huh? Uh, this one, Inshra, is inside the bracket. So this means minus three times minus three. And when minus times minus, it becomes plus, right? Positive. That's nine, positive nine. Now it's different like this. If this is like that, then your answer is correct. This means what? This means three times three first, then after that, you times the nine, a minus sign. So you are giving the answer to this. But this one is the minus is inside the bracket. So you got to be squared also. So the answer is nine. Okay, Anjira. Okay. Welcome, Shafi. Okay, we are doing question two now. Question two. Now, those of you who are unsure, let's say you're not sure what we are talking about. Okay, I give an example. Let's say now, twenty. Okay, we do this one first. Now, before we do, what's the biggest number? When you round off to the nearest ten, you can get twenty. What's the smallest number? Well, in order to do this, what's the biggest number? Let's say twenty-five. You run off to nearest ten, it becomes thirty, right? You look at the five, you plus one. So the biggest number is actually twenty-four, right? You look at the the four, you don't plus one, it becomes twenty. And the smallest number is fifteen. Fifteen, right? Fifteen in nearest it becomes twenty. Same thing down here. There is a number, and the number will be six digit long, lah. Same thing. The length of the number is same number of digits. So one is big. One is small. Try again. This try. Right, this right.
have an answer. So sorry. Uh, no, no. Because, yeah, you must see a uh, two significant. Okay, we'll come to this in a moment. We'll try. Let's, let's see the rest. Let's see how the rest. Give them another one minute. The clue, if it's two significant figures, you are looking at the third figure to decide whether to plus or not to plus. I'm sure. Huh? Shafi, you look very tired. Are you tired? Eh, tak boleh lah, Fai. Ada smallest number, Fai. Mana? Okay. You see, ah, Fai, ah. How you gonna... Okay. That means, Shabi, you know how to do it, Shabi. Okay. So, we, 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 we do this together, lah. Now, the number given is 150,000. Now, so when they say two, two significant figures, they just look at these two. And the rest all become zero. So what's the biggest possible number? number? You see, oh, maybe bigger possible number is one, five. I mean, example, example. Huh? I'm not saying this is right. Huh? One, five, nine, 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 nine. Maybe this is the biggest number. But you try it out. If you want two significant figures, you will look at this number. We oh, must plus one. This one become one, six. So this is out. Can you see now? This cannot be. This one will be 160,000. So, two significant figures, what's the biggest? A biggest must be 155. Let's say 155. Oh, 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 oh. Two significant here. This one plus also 160. Lah. So, cannot also. So, you must make sure that you don't plus one. And the biggest possible number in the third place, third digit must be four. 154. Can you see? Let's say we put zero zeros first, okay? Ah, down here now we have two different figures. One here, we look. Oh, don't plus one. Now is one five. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So can we find? Because we are doing biggest number, right? What is the biggest possible number here? One five four nine nine. Nine. You see, we don't need to look at the nine nine nine. We are just looking at the four because one two. So it still becomes one five o o o o o. Can you see that? Now you try to find the smallest number now. What's the smallest possible number? And the smallest possible number is not one hundred fifty thousand. It can be smaller than that one. One four nine thousand becomes one five hundred fifty thousand. You try to find. Okay, I've given you the answer to this. You find what is A now. It cannot be, yeah. You try that, you try. Then I have to give you more questions. Okay, you can have a, a number smaller than that, right? What, one, four, nine, 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 nine? Also change to one, five, oh, oh, oh. Probably your number two shot are uh, 14,999. That become 15,000. Cannot nah. Then 150,000. And see, what happened, Andrea? You don't understand. Eh? You don't understand. Yeah. Brian, yours also become 15,000. Both of you are giving uh, like that. Ah, Shafi now give one four nine nine nine. Okay, but I can put one four nine 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 eight. Also become one five zero. Okay, I will now write it on the board. Now. Uh, 
Okay, so for now, if you put one four nine nine nine, you know there's a missing digit. You know, three hundred fifty thousand. It's only fourteen thousand. When you correct to the nearest two, the it become become fifteen thousand. So when it says two significant figures, one two, they are looking at the third one now. So let us see the smallest number. Shafi says one four nine 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 nine. Two significant figures, one two. We look at the third one. Do we plus one? Yes. This become fifteen. Why we plus one? Five six seven eight nine minus plus one, and all the rest become zero. Number of digits must be the same, huh? One two three four five six. It's a one two three four five six must be the same. Now this, I can have nine 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 eight. Right? I can have nine nine zero. Oh, right? It still become one five. In fact, I can have one four nine zero oh, zero. Oh. oh, it will still become one five zero. Oh. What is the smallest number? One four what? Right? That you have to plus one. The smallest possible number is five. We have five on here. You have plus one. Huh? We got hundred fifty thousand. If you go one number smaller, watch what happen. Huh? One number smaller is one four four nine nine nine. This one now becomes what? You don't plus one. You become one four zero 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 zero. You see. A world of difference, huh? so the answer is one four five, oh oh oh. Because you all didn't get it right, we have to do this again. Okay, so I want you now. This is convert to. This is rounded off to the nearest three significant figures. So what's the biggest number? Possible and the smallest possible number to get this number for three significant figures. In Shira, you are blur about this one still. You are blur, right? You understand? You don't understand? Must tell me, no. Okay, what's the biggest and smallest possible number? Sorry. Okay, right here. Let's see, ah, uh, you say the smallest is one, three, o, o, o. Remember, same number of digits. Same number of digits. One two three four five six. Is it one two three four five? Okay, now must have six. Come, Shafi. Shafi, you don't understand you. Okay. Let's see. Shafi, you can do that, Shafi. Okay. If you say smallest is here, three significant figures, one, two, three, you look at the fourth. You don't plus anything. It remains the same. But we got one, three, seven thousand. Remember, we are supposed to look at the fourth digit down here. Okay, what's the biggest number down here for it to be one three seven? Biggest number. If you put one, oh oh, possible it becomes seven hundred thousand. Two also possible it becomes seven thousand. Three also possible it becomes seven thousand. Four also possible it becomes seven thousand. Five not possible. This was plus one. It become one three eight o o o. So that means the biggest one on here is four. 
So we want to find the biggest number. Down here, you can put 99. This is the biggest number. Why? You want three known figures. Look at the fourth one. Don't plus one. One, three, seven, oh. What about the smallest number? Smallest number. Smallest number. You can put one, three, six. Lah. You put one, three, six. One, three, six. What's the smallest number you can put here? You put four, you become one, three, six. Oh, oh. you can put five on here. Oh. Okay, I think you all have an issue with this one. Never mind. We will we will try again another time. Okay, never mind. Huh? Now we move on again. We move on again. Please so simplify. That means make it neat. Huh? You're not supposed to find what's x. You're supposed to make it all as one fraction. Sorry, sorry. Shafi, okay, your answer is correct. Well done. Um, um, Ryan, it cannot be over 5. So down here, you make it the same denominator. You times by 2. You make it 6. This one, you times by 3. Right? Don't plus the denominator, no. So this one must times 3. This one, you must times by 2. Inshallah, you get 12. Tak boleh lah cah. Banyak sangat sih. How come you get cah? Ah? The top part is correct but bottom is how come you get cah? What do you times by Inshira? So, I don't know lah. Just times I don't care. You don't be like that lah Inshira. Saya macam suara kena rasokan. All right, so I'm going to show you that very quickly, okay? Um, for those who... Sorry, I just times it on here. You can see uh, 3x plus 6y. Okay, and then down here times that 2. Right? 2 times 3 is 6x. Then 2 times minus y is minus 2y. Now, this is over 6. I can put it all under one denominator. 
So you add a 3x uh, plus 6x. Remember the sign is always in front. You get 9x. 6y minus 2y. You get 4y. Yeah. Minus 4y. Eh, no. Plus 4y. Yeah. Y plus, you have $6. You owe $2. You got more money. You pay the $2. $2 you still got balance. Okay, so then over 6. In she okay? You know your error. You know your mistake. Ryan, okay, yeah, Ryan? Ryan, are you okay, Ryan? Okay, now. If I'm lagging, please tell me I'm lagging. Then I need to go into the hall. Am I lagging? No. Huh? So you try the next one now. Next one. So how to do? Make it have the same denominator. This is 1 over 1. Oh, you can do already. You can do already. All right, we have. Sorry, I did not see the answer there. So sorry, so sorry. Sure, sure, sure. Please, please, please carry on. Please carry on. How come Shafi got Z over 5? Uh, sorry, Shafi. Something is wrong. Can you show me your working? You show me your working? Come. You show me, show me. Uh, show me. Oh, you, you find your mistake. Which one you want? You can show me now. If you cannot find, you just show me. I'll see. Sekejap, ah. Sekejap, ah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Inshi, Inshi, you got it right. Congratulations. Now we just check for uh, Mr. Shafiqi, yeah. Okay, Shafiqi, go away. Okay, Shafi, you can see your this one. Is this yours? Okay, so now you're starting. You have what is this? Uh? Oh, this is scary, no? but anyway, Z or oh, five. That will cancel. Uh, hey, Mr. Haka minus you go and cancel. He forgot. Uh. Okay, okay, now we do a simple test. Shafi, Shafi, P, P. see, yeah, uh, I do a simple test. Uh. Let's say two. Uh, 12 over 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, right? Shall we? 6, huh? Minus, let's say, 4 over 2. 4 over 2 is 2, right? 6 minus 2, your answer must be 4, correct? Okay, now, let's say you say you can divide, lah. divide by 2, divide by 2. But this one, no, no, no. This this is not a good example because this one, both can divide by two. It's the same thing. So, so, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I am going to change now this one. Okay, I put. Okay, you must know the, the rule. You cannot you cannot cancel on here. Uh, let's see. Uh. Uh, that's not how do you, how do you do. Uh. Just hold on, just hold on. Just a moment. Uh. Four over five. So confused how he does it. Okay, just a moment, just a moment. Oh Z. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Okay. Let me I just write for you lah, okay. Z put on here over five. Z 
0 5 minus 5 over 5. Now, you can only cancel at like that, these two, uh, if this is times. If it's minus, cannot. You will cause the whole thing to be collapsed. Lah. Okay, I, I'm not going to prove to you. Lah. You just take my word for it, but you cannot you cannot cancel. So, down here, what do you do? What do you get? Let's see whether he did get it again. So, you must combine them. Lah. Okay, Ryan also get the same one as Mr. Shafi'i. So, okay. In that case, I got to prove to you. Uh, in Shira, just a moment. Uh, because both the boys have the same answer. So, this is what you did, I think. Over 1 minus 5 over 5. 1 is 5 over 5, right? Now, what you must do, you cannot cancel. You cannot cancel. Okay, later, I'll prove to you you cannot cancel. This one now, you combine. Uh, Z plus 1 minus 5. Look, 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 Ryan. Over 5. You must do like that. You combine the bottom. Lah. You cannot cancel. Then you owe $5. You have $1, so you owe $4 still. Now, if you cancel, let's say, if you cancel, let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, like that. This is the answer, correct? Yeah? Let's say now you, uh, you did by cancelling method. So, cancel 1, cancel 1. If you cancel, this one doesn't have the denominator. So you cannot put them. This is it's like Z over 1 plus 1 or minus 1 fifth. 1 over 5. So cannot, I cannot do like that. Okay. So I just show you now. Huh? Let's say now you have 10 over 5. 10 over 5 is 2, right? Let's say now, plus, lah, let's say plus 5 over 1. 5 over 1 is 5. Two, 10 over 5 is 2, right? 2 plus 5, answer must be 7. Let's say now we, we do what you do. Ah. I cancel 1, cancel. Ah. 1, cancel 1. 10 divided by 1 is 10, plus 1, 11. You have changed. You have changed the whole equation. Salah, salah, salah. Cannot, nah. So I repeat, you combine the denominator, then you become Z minus 4 over 5. I hope you are okay. Move to the next one. Uh, this one now. Here you try. You know what's integer? Integer is a whole number. It can be positive, it can be negative, it can be zero, but here they tell you something about it being zero. So, whether it can be zero or not. Shafi, one missing number. There are supposed to be four possible values. One missing number. Please try again. Teacher, hmm. what's the sign over there? Like uh, X, what, zero? Oh, means they're telling you X is not equal to zero. Okay, X is not zero. Remember, the value X is not is zero. In order to do this, you must know how to read this. So we ask Inshira, how do you read this inequality? Can you read? Negative 3 uh, is smaller than 
x. Okay, we don't read that way. We read opposite. We start with x. X is greater than negative three. X is uh smaller or equal to two. Good. Okay. So write down the possible number lah. Okay, x is uh, Ryan greater than negative three. X smaller. If you are confused, draw a number line. Okay. Draw, okay. Congratulations, Mr. Shafi'i. Well done. Draw a number line and then you, you put the range and then you can see what is greater, what is smaller and so on and so forth. Okay. Well done, Nishi. So down here. So I'm going to write that down here. So Ryan down here. Ryan, this is how we read this. Huh? X is greater than negative 3. So greater than, do we go to the left or do we go to the right? Greater, greater. Left or right? Right, right. Right, huh? So that means uh, the value for x uh, is from here, going there, going there. And then, Ryan, you see now the, what they say about it. They say x is smaller than or equal to 2. So the biggest possible number is what? 1. It can one. be equal to 2 also. Oh. See? It can be equal to 2. So down here, uh, 1 is possible. Uh. So the what are the possible answers? Be careful. Uh. This one didn't say it can be equal. He did not say. It must be less than, less than three. So we use a circle like that. Have you done this before? A circle that is not shaded. Okay, I will, I will, I will draw again. Okay, so now down here, so that you know what is the range, eh? we can use a number line. We use a circle not shaded to show that it cannot be equal to three. We use a circle that is shaded to show that it's equal to two, can be equal to two. And then they say it's greater than negative three, so it's going this direction. And now here say smaller than negative, uh, smaller than two, going this direction. So this is your range, lah. So can it be negative three? Cannot integer is whole number, no? It's x is an integer, so whole number. So it cannot be negative three. Can it be negative two? Yes. Can it be negative one? Yes. Can it be zero? Uh oh, by right yes, but they say cannot. So cannot. Yes, well done. But zero cannot. Can you see? They say cannot be zero. Then one can. Two can. Yeah. So your answer is minus one, minus two, one and two. All right. So number line can help you to identify the answers. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, is this one? Yes. Uh, they ask you to solve. Solve means you must find what is the value of A. What is the value of B? Got a first, oh, first answer. So let's see. Tahniah pada Puan Insira. Eh? Ya, tahniah. Let's see. Let's see. Keep changing. Okay. So how to do A? Yeah? And Shafi, okay, A is correct. I'll just run through, okay? 
your job is to bring the letter to the left side. So, Ryan, plus you bring over become minus. And this 50, you bring over on this side. Plus becomes minus here. So, 3A minus A. Because I brought it over, right? Okay, Shafi, okay for B. And then 50, you bring over there, become minus 50. 20 minus 50. Okay, you must not be confused here. Your A down here is plus. Can you see it's, the sign is in front? You bring over, become minus. So can you see it's minus here? 50 now, you bring over, becomes minus 50. So 3A minus A is 2A. Oh, 2A. And then 20 minus 50 is minus 30. Okay, and then A is equals to minus 30 over 2. Equals to negative 15. Okay. All right. The next one now. Next one need to times. Huh? 3 times B is 3B. 3 times 5 is 15. That's a minus sign. Equals to 6. Step 2. Bring this over. Bring this over. This one becomes... 6 plus 15. Minus 15 become plus 15. And it's equals to what? 21. So 3B equals to 21. Want to find B? 21 divided by 3 equals to 7. Okay, I hope okay. Eh? Alright, we move on to the next one. Now. Okay. Let's see. Show you, uh, yeah, this one now. Can you try? No, you don't need to find what C is. You don't need to find what D is. You just need to arrange them C over D, that's it.
it will be a number. You, can, you cannot have the answer as having C and D. So when you do this sum, just for your information, you have equal, right? You move it around. Finally, you must have C over D equals to. You must make it C divided by D, then equals to 1. Then this is your answer. Lah. You can do or not? Cannot. Shafi can do? Ryan? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll show you, I'll give you some clues. Lah. First thing, why don't we make them have the same denominator? First thing first. You times this by 5. Times this by 3. Then remember, you must also do the same thing to the numerator, the number on top. You must also times by 3 and 5. So down here times 5. The whole thing eh, times 5. Uh oh. It's my mana. The whole thing must times 5. Ya Allah, how come that one The whole thing must times 5. The whole thing must times 3. Allah, what? So times by three. So now what do you get? You get over fifteen equals to something over fifteen. Can you see that? So I expand it again. Okay? Five times seven thirty-five C. So your answers may have this. So but uh, then five times three. 15 minus 15d is equals to 3 times 3, 9c. Oh. c 3 times 4, 12d. Now, do you agree that we can cancel the 15? Because it means that this part down here, when you have the same denominator, now you can ignore lah. That means this one must be equal to this one lah. Can or not? So we can we can, we can can make them into an equation. But some of you say, no, I don't understand. Okay, then you times by 15 lah. You times by 15 here, you cancel the 15 here. Then times by 15 on the right-hand side also. Possible. If you don't understand the first one. So you can times by 15 to both sides to have this equation like that. So now you have 35C minus 15D is equals to 9C plus 12D. So I bring the C on one side. I bring the D on one side. Okay, C, I'm going to bring 9C. I bring over here, become minus 9C. Right? This one now. Minus 15D, I bring over that side. Becomes plus 15D. So when you plus together, 12D plus 15D is equals to 27D. And this one you minus, you get 26C. Now how to do it now? You want, they want you to have C over D. Okay lah. You know... If I want to find what is C, what do I do? I bring the 26, I put here, correct? You can see now. 
you can see let's say i want to find c 26 go on that side then down here is times i want to take this over that side okay understand that 27 now times d i can bring the d to this side okay in fact i can show you a method called seesaw lah. don't be confused huh? this method is actually a very advanced method so we can play seesaw it's only for like that huh? times and divide huh? so you you seesaw you can put like that huh? now how to play seesaw very simple the numbers can go up can go down so i can bring 27 down and leave the d here i can bring the d down and go up here so now because they want c over d i am going to bring seesaw is like that it goes top to down eh? uh, is like that eh? so this one now i'm going to bring it down here so it becomes d down here so 27 is left no more d then 26 i bring over that side I got no more 26. Now I got C over D is equal to 7, 27 to 26. C over D equals to 27 over 26. This is your answer. So you're confused. Some of you may be confused. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, we show you another method. Okay, there are many, many methods you can do. So what is the method? Okay, you have 26 C equals to 27d now remember 26c means 26 times c 27d means 27 times d when you want to bring something over to the other side it becomes the opposite now it's times you bring over becomes divide so i bring the 26 over it becomes divide you have done this before uh, but maybe you don't realize it. Huh? Hold on, I'll just uh, get a new thing. Okay. So I bring the 26 over, it becomes 26 divided by, uh, 27D divided by 26. Now why? Because this is being multiplied. So once it goes over, it has to be divided. Same thing, this is 27 times D. If I bring over, it has to be divided. So it goes on this side, become divided. Answer is 27 over 26 are you confused you're confused eh? i'm going to show you something else i'm going to show you quite complex one you see whether you can do huh? Now, I show you now. Huh? I show you the seesaw method. I want this side to only be A. What do I do? Very simple. Huh? Only to be A. I want only A. No, I don't want anything else. I push this. It goes down. C goes down. Become five C. Push down. So B go down. Become five B. Three. I push it down. Becomes times three. Then this one. I don't want it down here. I only want A down here. So push it, it will go up. Okay, this one goes down, this one goes up. Okay, then X go down here. No more X. 4 go down here times 4. So it becomes A is equals to 4 times 2, 8. X, Y, Z over 3 times 5, 15. P, C. Are we okay? Very simple method. But you say, okay, I want now, uh, let's say I want B over there and I want X over here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, uh, we try another one. We try another one. Uh. Let's say 3 ABC, same thing. Uh, over 4X over equals to 2YZ over 5B. Okay. Five over five and then you say 
I want the ending to be, let's say, B over Z equals to something. Very simple. Your B, you leave it here. C, you bring. 3A, you bring it here. Z, you bring here. The This 4X bring up. Say how? I show you, I show you. Huh? So now down here, 3A, B, C over 4X equals to 2X, y, uh, y, Z over 5. Okay, now. B1, what again? Huh? C over C over Z, yeah? Let's say we want C over Z equals to what? Leave the C, bring this whole thing down. Times 3AB. Disappear. This one now, can push it up. Bring the whole thing. Times 4X. What you left, not zero, eh? you left one. But we want this Z. Bring it down. Bring it down. Becomes C over Z. C over Z now. What do we have down here? 2Y times 4X. 2 times 4, 8. X times Y, XY. 5 times 3, 15. AB. Guys, are you all, all right? Are you confused? Confused? Ah? You know how to use seesaw method. This is seesaw. The flow, ah, you can go up here. Imagine there's a seesaw. This one can go down. This one can go up. Now here, this one can go down. This one can go up. But what is the meaning of this? How come it can go up? As I said, if it's divide, when you bring over equal sign, become times. That's why it times on top. If this one down here, you want to bring, now being multiplied, right? It will go down to be divide. Okay, we, we, I hope you, if you understand the method, it's very fast. But if you apply it wrongly, habis lah. Okay, we try, we try. 50th birthday later. This one later. This one, no need to do. This one, not yet. Ah, this one. Can you solve the simultaneous equation?
Shafi, you and your sister are full of light. No? Penuh dengan nur, cahaya. Means you are very good people. Ha, insyirah. Shafi, orang baik. Dia banyak nur. You look behind the head is like a halo like that. So, Nabi, you know. Okay lah, not Nabi lah, Wali lah, Wali. All right, we got the first entry over here. Let us see the contestant by the name of Shafi'i. We're not Shafi'i. So sorry, Mr. Shafi'i. I don't think you got it correct. In, uh, your why is correct. Your X into Salah. Your Y is correct. Your X is Salah. Congratulations, Mr. Shabi. Got it correct. What, Inshira and uh, Ryan? Cannot. Okay, we give you another two minutes more. Then I will show the answer. Ah, uh, that's delicious milk and susu cigar. Minum la susu Dutch lady. Fresh milk. Sure, something's wrong with the answer. Ryan can do. Okay, we do. We go through together. Okay. Now remember, this is simultaneous equation. You're gonna get rid of one of them. One of what? One of the letters, either x or y. So you see two x here. Eh, three x, two x. Eh, I can times this side now huh, by, by by three. You know, I get six. This side I can times by two. This one I times by three or so lah. Sometimes by two. Then I can get six x. When I get six x, I can eliminate. See. So now what do I do? Three times two x, six x. This side also must times by three. Now three times three, nine y. Plus seven times three, twenty one. So this is equation one lah. Down here now, three, 2 times 3, 6x. And then 2 times 2, 4y. 4 times 2, 8. Why don't I bring this over there? Then I have 6x equals to something. This one is 6x equals something. So 6x equals to 8 minus 4y. Because plus 4y becomes minus 4y. Notice, I now make it equation number two. Can you see not this one now? Uh, you must be able to see the logic here. 6x is equals to this. 6x is equals to this. That means these two are the same or so what? 
right? That means 9y plus 21 is equal to 8 minus 4y. Because 6x is equal to this. 6x equals to this. So now we put substitute. Uh, substitute. 1 into 2 or 2 in 1. Doesn't matter. 1 into 2. Or 2 into 1. Doesn't matter. Lah. So now what? 9y plus 21 is equals to 8 minus 4y. Okay, now what to do? I bring the y on this side now. I bring the y down on this side. I bring the number here on that side. So let us see now. Four, minus 4y bring over become plus 4y. So 9y plus 4y. Then 8, I bring plus 21, bring over the second minus 21. So 8 minus 21. 9y minus 4y, get 5y. Okay. And then 8 minus 21. Did I get it wrong? Hey, why am I saying so? Not 5y, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 9 plus 4, 13 Y. Shafi, correct me lah, Shafi, if I get it wrong. Ke plus what? 8 minus 21 is minus 13. So Y equals to minus 13 over 13. Can you see the seesaw method here? Nah? If you cannot see, I'll show you again. Nah? It's equals to negative 1. Notice that nah, down here, you can use the seesaw method. So what is the seesaw method? You look, if you can see the seesaw method, you see what? 13y over 1 equals to minus 13 over 1. So I just bring this 13, slide it down here. Zoom. Right? So y equals to minus 13 over 13 down here. Equals to negative 1. Negative 1, huh? there's a negative sign here. Huh? Then you substitute y in y minus 1 into 1 or 2. Lah. Let's say we substitute into 2. Okay, so what do you get? You get now substitute this one inside here. 6x equals to 8 minus 4. Y is negative 1. Minus 4 times minus 1, we've got plus 4. 8 plus 4. 6x equals to 8 plus 4. Okay. And this is equals to 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. What? So 6x is equals to 12. Equals to 12. So x is 12 divided by 12 divided by 6. x equals to 2. Lah. So y equals to minus 1 x equals to 2. I hope you all okay. Are we okay? Okay, I see you okay? Ryan okay? Okay, now we try next one. Not this one. Ah, this one, second one. Work. You try to do, try to do, crack your head, crack your head. Okay, I'm going to get my plug and uh, plug this in, but you can do this. You can do this. This is like one work. Huh? Yeah, I hope you remember how to do prime factorization. Inshira, headache, Inshira. Napa gitu. Ryan, you look very tired, Ryan. As if you don't have, you got no, not enough sleep, eh? Not enough. But not, you look very tired, very tired. 
Only one looks allergic, uh, energetic is Shafi'i. Shafi'i puasa tak? Shafi'i. The only one. <laughs> I'm joking lah. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking lah. Alright. I know you puasa. Banyak no right? Next time you write a buku Karamah Shafi'i. How to get the power from Shafi'i. Those who have forgotten, remember you can use this method. Remember now. Then you put two four zero. Then you divide by two. Da 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 da. Until you get, you get something. Let's say two to the power of five times blah 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 blah. Ah, this is prime factorization. Ah. Twenty minutes left. Twenty minutes left. Okay, let's see. Someone has sent in. I think I think you're correct, Inshira. Inshira, the pink sun. Oh, hey, you do, Inshira. Okay, we'll end early. We'll end early. Oh, you are doing your work on the bed. Ah, shock. Ah, okay. uh, Miss uh, Mister Shafi, you remember how to do, na Shafi? Remember what's your answer? Okay, can we we do together lah. Those who you cannot remember, I I have to just show you guys lah. In case okay, you must remember, ah, if you don't memorize this, uh, uh, no practice, ah, you will forget. Okay, for me, why is it I can remember maths all these years? Well, not because I taught uh, maths for so long, but because I was failing the subject and I had to study on my own without a tutor. So I really, really understood. But to the sacrifice of the other subjects, lah. Divide by two, you get one two zero. Divide by two again, you get sixteen. Divide by two again, you get thirteen. Divide by two again, you get fifteen. Now cannot divide by two. Go to the next prime number three, you get five. Now divide by five, you get one. So can you see two to the power of four? Good. Times three times five okay so what you do is okay if you have forgotten uh, if you've forgotten you try to divide all these are prime numbers you see so two to the power of four times three times five now this is your prime factorization this is answer of question number one 
So now you need to find, you need to do the same thing, but for 75. Or you can do like that, if you remember. 75, 240. Uh, then you can do this one. How to do HCF? Only when both numbers can be divided by the same number, then you circle it. I do not know whether you remember. This means the highest common factor. What is the biggest number? 75 and 240 can be divided by. That's what they're saying. What's the biggest number? You find the HCF and... Hey, and HCF. Anybody? I'll show you how to do HCF and LCM, but you try first. Huh? You don't know how to do it. You don't know how to do it. We have to practice later. Okay, how come got two numbers? Ah? Dia dah lupa lah. Sudah lupa, Syed Inshira. Okay, alright. It's only the one number. Okay, so, I'm going to show you the whiteboard, okay? Inshira, pengsan lah dia. Okay, this is the last question. Okay, I will, I will, I will let you practice a little bit more. But once you can do this, you can do this. Okay, so I'll show you the number. Okay, I will let you practice a little bit more. But once you can do this, okay, so the number is 75 and 240. So you write like that, okay? You draw a line like that, 240 and 75. This method is for finding both LCM and HCF, okay? Now, what's the difference between the two? When when do you know it's LCM and it's HCF? Okay. Okay, here we go. Huh? We, 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 do, we try to divide by the smallest number, 2. This can divide by 2, I get 1, 2, 0. But this cannot. I do not circle this. I don't circle this. Now I divide by 2 again. I get 60. This one cannot. I just bring it down. Do I circle? No, because both cannot divide. Divide by 2 again. I get 30. get 75. Do I circle? Don't. Divide by 2 again. I get 15. And you get 75. Now, try the next number now. After 2, the next prime number is 3. Divide by 3. Or can. I get 5. This one divided by 3. Can I get 25? Now I circle. Why do I circle? Both numbers can be divided. So you circle. Both numbers can divide by 3. So you circle. So you divide by 3 again. Cannot. Can divide by 5? Can. 5 divided by 5 get 1. 25 divided by 5 get 5. Both can divide. I circle. Then I complete this. Uh, 5, 1, 1. Now this two circle numbers, there's two circle numbers, times it together, 3 times 5, that's 15. This is your HCF. The biggest number, 240 and 75, can be divided by is 15. Now, what about LCM? What say, what is LCM? You say, I don't know what LCM. Okay, LCM is like this, like LCM. Let's say now you have 1 over 75 plus 1 over 240. What's the lowest number you want to use down here? How to do it? LCM is very simple. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 
16. 16 times 3 and then times 5 times 5. That number, I think, is 1,200. If I'm not mistaken, let me try. Yeah. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 3. 16 times 3 is 48. 48 times 5 is 240. 240 times 5 is 1,200. So the LCM is 1,200. LCM, how do I get? I times all of them together. HCF only times the circle ones. Are we there? You know what you know what I've done? I hope you all understand. Uh. So number B, the answer is 15. Why 15? That's the circle number we multiply. See what if only one one on the number circle? Just that's the answer. Uh. More than one, you got a time. So this is 15. Now see you try. Remember. This is prime factorization. This is HCF. This one maybe might be LCM. Lah. Notice uh, in your in secondary school, in JC or whatever, they will ask you question that you have learned about. You know, they cannot ask you anything. They cannot ask you how many stars are there in the night sky. They won't ask you questions like that. They will ask you things you have learned. You learn prime factorization, they will test you on it. There is actually a whole uh, syllabus. Uh, that will guide them on how to test you. So this now has something to do with the concept of LCM. Uh, you think what is how to do? Remember, we did LCM already. Huh? It's up down here. It's 1,200 for 75 and Okay, la, I'll explain. La. Yeah, I do not know whether I can do. You all look very tired right there. Okay, so now, when we did this now, remember we did like that, 75 and 240. We got two answers. The, the HCF, we got 15. The LCM, we got 1,200. Now, what does this 1,200 mean? This means that if you want to buy the same number of lollipops, and cookies, the smallest number you can buy is 1,200. Means you can buy 1,200 lollipops and you can buy 1,200 cookies. That's the smallest number. So they say find the least number of boxes of lollipops. Well, this is the least number of uh, lollipops and cookies you can buy. So lollipops are packed in a box. Each box got 240 lollipops. So you just take 1,200 divided by 240 and you get the number of boxes you need to buy, which is 5. Okay? And that's what you need to do. Okay, I think you all are very tired. All right? We, we see each other again on Sunday, is it okay? Your exams are next week, right? So try now, Shafi. I no, yours is tomorrow. Are yours is tomorrow? Yes. Mine is Friday. Friday, Alama. So how? Um, you all are ready not? But tomorrow also I cannot come. I'm going outside. Unless you want to go all the way. But you all look very tired already. La. One girl wants to sleep. The other one already having concussion. Uh, and uh, only Shafi, he, he, I don't know. He's just looking. But I do not know. Maybe he's talking to someone. I do not know. Okay. So I tell you what. We will stop here. All the best for your exams. Okay. 
and we will meet each other on Sunday lah. Okay.